So I'm on my way to Triarch, heading up there to drop off some content and uh, and some some other stuff for them, chat with them about some upcoming projects. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Jimmy and I'm a content creator. Uh, most notably, I host Triarch's Pushing Forward series, as well as work on some other projects with them. Um, and I thought, man, this this uh, series we're doing is really, you know, it's it's been a lot of fun for me so far. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to bring you guys along and show you some of the behind the scenes, show you some of the people's personalities that you don't get to see, um, and just, just give you a chance to see another side of the industry. I think that uh, our industry that, that we're in, in the firearms industry, is kind of in a weird place right now with all the you know, proposed gun laws and just everything that's going on. And then, you know, we, we have our own issues with keyboard commanders and just, you know, all that. And so um, I just want to show some more of the lighthearted side of the industry and, and some of the the amazing people and the, the cool stuff that they have going on. So um, bringing you guys along to, to see some of the behind the scenes of Triarch and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So what's your official, unofficial job title here? I am the project manager for the rifles. Okay. Um, AR platforms, more specifically. Yeah? Is there a possibility of any uh, other platforms? Maybe, future? eventually, yeah, we're working on a few, but um, we'll see. There's a lot of testing that goes into new, uh, new platforms, new uh, barrels, new everything, so we don't want to rush anything. So I got a few, like, lightning round questions for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so first one, one whiskey for the rest of your life. I can only drink that whiskey? Yep. Ooh. Do I have to pay for it? No. I don't know, I still might pick some kind of cheap. I really like, uh, I don't know, 1792. 1792? This is a good standard. You, you know, don't feel that lately, like, huh? Well, it's like $26 a bottle and it, it's good on everything. It's good straight. It's good if you want to mix it in a cocktail. A little bit of everything. Cool. And then, um, so for people who aren't from around here, best barbecue place in Texas? I think it's hard to beat Pecan Lodge right now for sure. Yeah? Um, in Deep Ellum? Yeah, because, well, you know, they do all the standard fare, but then they actually branch out and do some other cool things, you know. You're not just doing your traditional, you know, like turkey ribs, brisket kind of thing. They they branch out and do some, some cool stuff. So I think that's where they have an edge too. One gun for the rest of your life. 240, bravo. <laughs> for sure, yeah. Okay. For sure, yeah. If I'm not paying for ammo, 240, bravo. Okay. And then um, black anodized or multicam? Multicam. Multicam? Multicam. Uh, I mean, anodized is great and all, but you know, you get more uh, stuff on. Uh, more patterns, coolness factor, and you know, you can blend in gotcha. when you're on the streets. So, in one word, what sets Triarch apart? I'd say balanced. Balanced is a good one. Um, you know, it's kind of something that we preach with everything that we, you know, manufacture here. Um, you know, even down to the barrels. You know, the barrels are medium profile. It's balanced all the way around. Yeah. And that's something that we kind of, you know, look for in everything. You know, like if I'm going to hang a suppressor off of a, a gun, I want to make sure that the grip angle is going to be not straight up and down because it's going to make the front end of that gun heavier. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to. A little bit different grip angle depending on you know what weapon system you're going to do and everything like that so you have to balance every little piece of it and obviously our gas boards are a big part of that too so they can run you know dirty but they're also not going to be ridiculously over gassed and feel like you know feel like crap and and uh put a bunch of gas in your face and all that stuff cool 
Well, thanks for chatting with us, Zach. Appreciate it. Alright guys, I gotta head back uh, to the office because I'm already late and try not to get fired. But uh, if you enjoyed that, um, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, and also leave uh, questions in the comments below of questions you have for the guys at the shop. Or uh, if you have questions about the Pushing Forward series. Or maybe there's something you want us to talk about in, uh, in future episodes uh, of the Pushing Forward series or uh, people you think we should interview. Um, leave those in the comments below and uh, you can always find me on, uh, on IG at uh, Jim's Goon Life and uh, Yeah, see you guys next week This is not a good setup right now. I don't it's appreciate a, it this. is a, it is a gorgeous you can't even see any of that It's just Why not? it's just because it zoomed in on your glorious face oh. I was actually hoping the beard was still long when I was coming to film this but it's okay. Okay. It, it'll work. Hold on, bro. Okay, now now we're ready. We're almost there, dude. Almost there? Alright. I'll take that. It's progress. You're probably gonna catch that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um